Hello and welcome to the program Beyond 100 Days. I am Abosedi Adene Adoremi. Join the conversation on X at TVC News NG. Use a hashtag Beyond 100 Days. We'll begin with the outcome of talks between President Bola Tinobu and Chinese President Xi Jinping in Beijing, China. The two leaders announced the elevation of Nigeria-China ties to that of a comprehensive strategic partnership. They also agreed to build a high-level Nigeria-China community with a shared future. President Tinubu's official visit precedes his participation in the 2024 summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, scheduled to hold from the 4th to 6th of September 2024. And uh, away from that, the Dangote refinery has commenced the rollout of first set of premium motor spirit, also known as petrol to Nigerian market. But that's a cheery news coming from Nigeria, where the chairman and CEO of Dengote Group, Aliko Dengote, has revealed that petrol products will be in the market as soon as the company finalizes modalities with the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. This development comes barely 48 hours after the NNPC Limited acknowledged owing petrol suppliers a significant debt which has been threatening supply sustainability, but assured there is an ongoing collaborative effort with relevant key players to maintain frequent supply of petroleum products. Mr. Dungote also assures all citizens using petrol-powered vehicles that their engines will now last longer as the product produced at the refinery is of international standard. You know, PMS can actually be in the market by uh, today is what Tuesday, by when is, by when is it by Thursday latest our product can be in the market. I think there will not be any disruption because the president not only that he brought the uh, whole idea he took it to the federal executive council, it was approved uh, you know at the federal executive council and I think whoever wants to play with the instructions of the president. Uh, he will pay a big price. And also to thank Mr. President and his government for assisting us to make sure that we achieve this, uh, you know, dream. This is a very monumental, uh, you know, uh, dream, you know, for us that we've been able to achieve something like this, which Nigeria has not really uh, achieved producing uh, gasoline in the last uh, 28 years. So I think it's good, at least during his administration, this has been, you know, achieved. And also to thank him for making sure that he brought out this Naira, Naira transaction, of which will help to stabilize our currency, to bring uh, growth and prosperity to our country. Chairman CEO of Dangote Group, Oliko Dangote, there. Now, let's talk party politics. The minister of the FCT, Nyesa Mwike, during the weekend sent a warning to governors to stay clear and avoid interference in the affairs of the People's Democratic Party in River State. The former governor spoke at the party's state congress. He also mentioned that despite the political situation in River State, nobody can take the party away from the people. At the event, party delegates elected Chukwe Meka Aaron as chairman of the party. The Congress held at the PDP Secretariat in Port Harcourt amid the division in the party between members loyal to Governor Simina Lai Fubara and the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Inyesam Wike. They said that we are finished. They are finished. <laughs> Anywhere you see them said they are finished. And let me assure all of you, not what we leave, not while we leave, anybody will take away the structure of PDP from us. Not while we leave. And let me tell people, I hear that there are some governors, I hear there are some governors who say they will take away the structure and give back to somebody. I pity those governors. area in River State. Chidi Lloyd joins me on the program from Port Harcourt. 
River State. Also joining us is former state organizing secretary of the PDP in Lagos State, Liki Oshikoya. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on the program today. I'll begin with you, Mr. Lloyd. The statement by Yinsom Wiki that he will put fire in the state of PDP governors. Do you agree that that statement was provocative? Put fire in the state of being dumped. Do you agree that that statement was provocative? Well, thank you very much for the question. Uh, Thank you very much for the question. Uh, I'll tell you emphatically that I do not agree that the statement was provocative. Uh, the statement was made within a milieu. It was made within a contest. Uh, so it wasn't made out of from the, it wasn't made out of the blues. What was he saying? He said, "Look, I hear some governors say they will take the structure." and give to a certain person. And he just told you that the PDP is a party that is, is a is, is a party that runs a constitutional democracy. Uh, nowhere in our constitution do you take structures and hand over to people. No. What happens is that when congresses are, 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 are contested, congresses are contested, the national uh, secretary sends people uh, to come and conduct congresses, as well as uh, buy from, declare from the positions which they want to run for. And when the, the votes are cast, winners emerge. So when you go through the process, nobody has capacity to take the party structure and hand over to someone who probably was not ready uh, for the work. So that's what the minister referred to. Uh, and when he said he will put fire, it is uh, an allegory. Uh, he didn't mean that he will go to those states and set fire on those, in those states, no. What he's saying is that if you interfere with my state, I also have the capacity uh, to interfere with your state. Recall that he came second in the very well-contested uh, uh, presidential primaries. So he has the structures across the, across the federation. That is what he's trying to tell you. Tell them that he can commence political crisis for them too, so that they will see what it is in River State. And when people make the type of state, you know, I, I do not blame those who try to, uh, uh, you know, make a mountain out of Mohi, because everybody is uh, analyzing from the point of view where he or she stands. Uh, my, my principal did not uh, say anything that will warrant this kind of discourse all week long. All right. We are saying that we didn't see those governors in River State during the build-up to the 2023 elections. Neither did they purchase form for the governor of River State. Neither did they join us in the campaigns any day across the 23 local government areas. So you cannot, you cannot now come uh, to begin to uh, determine what should happen in our state. No. All right, we Mr. Lloyd. That's what the minister has said. I hear you, Mr. Lloyd. And uh, may I just mention also that you should try uh, switch off your TV set so that there is no delay in hearing the question and responding to them in good time. Uh, let me come to you, Mr. Oshikoya. Uh, where exactly has Nyesam Wike gone wrong in his stance that power must return to the south because uh, you know that uh, seems to always have been his grouse. Mr. Shikoya, please. I want to uh, good evening, and I want to thank you for having me. First and foremost, Mr. Witte got it wrong that it will put fire in all states. But if you allow me to first to please mention that, I will tell you that it does not have the capacity. It does not have the strength. And the, and the belief is, is a delusion that he thinks he has power in the 36 states. He only has his power in local government in the river state. 
we have over we overrated with it, and as far as I'm concerned, there are people be, there have been governors before with it, and there will be governor after with it. So if he has lost in his state, I think the best thing is for him to see how he will reconcile with his governor. And he's not the first person that has left the party, but he has not done the honorable thing by saying, look, I am not in this party. He wants to be in and out, in and out in the sense that he wants to be in the, gov in the government of APC and destroying PDP. And that is what WK is doing. And if the, if the leadership of the PDP, I have, kept, I have said it severally, that the leadership is weak. If the leadership is strong, by now WK should be out of PDP. And I think that is the, the, the right thing to do. They should tell him the truth to his face. Yes, he has a, a big check. He has money. He has everything to go around. But look, if we need a strong opposition in this country, if we want the country to move forward, then WK should be out of PDP. They should show him the way out of PDP. Yes, he contested. He was, when he contested for the, the presidential election, he lost the election. And he said, whoever wins, if you remember very well. So irrespective of the, who the winner comes from, south or north, he gave his word. And I thought he should be a man of his word. But WK is not a man of his word. You will see him say something today, and tomorrow he will say another thing. But for him to say he would put fire in all other states, he, he does not have such power. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's joking. And believe me, he's just saying it because there are people with him, so that they will hail him. And that was what they did. After that, nothing. He, can, he does not have that capacity. He does not have it. And I say he does not have it because I know he does not have it. Well, let's get reaction from Mr. Lloyd. You have heard Mr. Shikoya. You know, he believes that your principle is, uh, you know, perhaps overrated. And he has over time been accused of being uh, high-handed and being overbearing. How do you react to these allegations? I would react to all that uh, Mr. Shikoya has said and in, as the natural numbers of negativism. Mr. Shikoya is still yet to recover from the round defeat of his presidential candidate. You can see the hate. You can see the venom. You can see the, the, the bitterness in Oshukoya. Uh, you know, other than this uh, uh, TV program where you, uh, you brought me to talk with him, I, I, I have not seen Oshukoya on the radar. He's not there to begin to discuss my principal. He has no capacity. Why not wait until then? This was what we heard. This was what we had as the build-up to the presidential election of 2023. And of course, uh, the, 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 the results are visible to the deaf and audible, uh, visible to the blind and audible to the deaf. I, I don't want to join issues with uh, a very bitter Oshikoya, uh, who probably is learning the ropes of politics. I, 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 I do not know Oshikoya's pedigree uh, uh, politically, but from his Statements is obvious, is very bitter. That is what I will tell you. So for what my principal has done is to say everybody should stay in his or her own lane. If you cross my lane, you will not uh, you will not find it funny. Uh, also, I will I would I would recommend that Oshikoya should join forces and remove Wige from the party. I wish Oshikoya said this when uh, Alaji Alimo do sheriff was chairman of the PDP. You know, we, 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 we tend to forget so soon. But we will remind the likes of Oshikoya. We will not forget. Wike is an enigma. Wike has become a phenomenon politically. It doesn't matter whether Oshik 300 Oshikoyas agree or not. All right, Mr. That Lloyd. Is the truth. Yes. All right. We need to take a break now. When we return from this break, the conversation continues. Stay with us. Messrs. Chidi Lloyd and Lake Oshikoya are my guests today on the program, and we are looking at happenings in the People's Democratic Party, especially following the statement over the weekend by Minister of the FCT in Yesom Wiki about putting fire in a state run by PDP governors. Uh, let me get back to you now, uh, Mr. Oshikoya. You have heard Mr. Lloyd react to you know some of the points you made earlier and uh, he believes that you are yet to recover from uh, the defeat of the presidential candidate of the PDP in the last presidential election at Tiku Abubuka. Could that be what's happening? 
Mr. Chidi, I, 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 I listened to you and I heard you call Oshikoya over 15 times. I am sure you love that name. But let me tell you, I, at no time do I have any grudges against Witi, and there is nothing, nothing, and absolutely nothing that would make me go against Witi because as far as I'm concerned, he has one vote, I have one vote. Even you yourself has a vote. And if we all have one vote, I think we must respect ourselves. Wike is a man that is not a man of his word. And if you must know, you said you do not know Oshikoya. They told you I was the state formal, the organizing secretary of Lagos State. In 2019, I was the campaign director of Jimmy Agbaje. So if you are in one local government in Cross River State, if you are in Lagos or if you, are, if, you, if you play politics in the West, I am sure Leki or Shikoya is a name everybody knows. And let me help you. If you are one of those telling Wike, Elimin, the rest are sure that those same people that said Osana to Jesus, they were the same ones that said crucify him. And I am sure that very soon you will join those that will say crucify him. Because whether you like it or not, PK will have to give way for PDP to move forward. And for PDP to move forward, the leadership of the party must quickly show WK out. They must tell him to honorably go out of the party. If he wants to move out, Benga Daniel was a governor in PDP. He left PDP honorably to APC. Nobody is talking about that man today. There are so many governors that have come and have gone. You talked about Amadou Sheri. He also did the same thing. He was a governor. He's not in the party. He went honorably. Why can't your own principal be honorable? Why don't you people have dignity? Why don't you have self-respect? Why are you allowing the old man to fool himself? It is high time. His wife and his children tell him the truth. You bootlickers are all at you. I heard you say behind, oh, am I on point? You are never on point because the nation is looking at you. Do a random sampling. Ask people that are not politicians, what do they think about Wike? And you'll be surprised at what you'll hear. The man needs to do the work is honorable. And the only thing honorable at this time is simply for him, for Wike to say, I am leaving PDP for APC. And they will all salute him. We all, all right. wish him well. But for him to be out in the party and be throwing spanner in the party, I think you are not all right. And I think... Um, all right, Mr. Shikoya. Like uh, Mr. Shikoya, let, let's bring in uh, Mr. Lloyd. Uh, the PDP Disciplinary Committee has actually summoned in some week to appear before the, it. We know that the National Working Committee also will be meeting on Wednesday. What are your expectations? First and foremost... Let me tell you my real designations. I am Dr. Chi Lloyd. And I listened with rapt attention when Oshikoya left the issues and attacked my person. Before you there, he called me a bootlicker. And before you there on this program, he called, he said, we are not normal. I demand an apology from you, the presenter of this program, before I continue. If not, I will think that this, you brought me to this pro, on this program to be insulted. I demand an apology from you. Mr. Lloyd. Before I continue. Mr. Yes. Lloyd, apologies about that. Dr. And Lloyd, that is the please. reason Dr. you are C. here Lloyd. on the show, so Dr. that C. you can Lloyd, actually please. react to whatever comes from the other side of the divide. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to say this clearly, that uh, Oshikoya uh, uh, is a wannabe. He's a wannabe. Ultimately, I should have I should have left this program. But because of the immense respect that I have for this TV, the TV station, I would continue. And allow Oshigoya to fool himself. How do you cry over a problem you can't solve? If we get, you, are, you were director general of uh, the, the, the candidate who lost an election, woefully. So it was it Wicked's fault. And I know, I know why, you are, you, why, why you are bitter. You are in the BDP in Lagos State. Are you not BDP? I never win any election in Lagos State. You know what people do here? Politics is not an all commerce business. So when you have people like that, you are you are 
you are a candidate, you are a publicity secretary of a, of a political party. That has never won in the election in Lagos State. And you have the, you have the infantry to say it on the national TV. What is your contribution to the People's Democratic Party? You are asking for a weekend to leave the party. Well, that is, that is an aside. Uh, if the, the, the disciplinary committee have written to my principal, I'm not, I'm not, the letter wasn't written through me. So I will not speak to, I will not speak to that issue until I see the letter that, of course, the disciplinary committee would have instances what and what my principal has done that conflicts with the party, the constitution of the party. We are not afraid of any disciplinary. We are not like the chairman of the BOT who, who has uh, uh, a governor from a Labour Party and has endorsed him for a second term, even when the governor has not said he will run for a second term. Those are the likes of Oshikoya. And they are, they are very scared of the truth. They are very scared when people say the truth. He, Oshikoya is saying that Wike, he still views Wike as a man with one vote. Does, does that tell you he's a politician? Wike is like Abraham. He's the father of many many nations, whether Oshikoya likes it or not, for you to think up to now that we can have just one vote, it shows that I've been wasting my time all along, discussing with a, a political new fight on a national TV. I'm staying with you, uh, uh, Mr. Lloyd. Uh, Dr. It's Lloyd, important. do you have any difficulty in addressing me as Dr. Chidi Lloyd? Well, Dr. Lloyd, agreed, but you know, we do have a house style, which is the reason I've stuck with Mr. But let's go with okay, the doctor right. for now. That's yes. okay. That's, that's okay. Yeah. Staying with you, what is the way forward? I believe your desire should be the growth and development of your party to be able to Absolutely. provide, to be able, Mr. Lloyd, let me, land, let me land, please, Dr. Lloyd, to be able to yeah. provide the needed opposition to the government in power to bring the dividends of democracy to the people. So what's is your advice? What is your counsel about the PDP being stronger and being able to do play this role? The PDP can only remain strong when the PDP adheres to its own rules. When the PDP adheres to its own constitution. When the PDP does truth and justice. It was the build up to the 2023 election. Our constitution is clear. In the PDP, we have two baskets. If the national chairman of a party comes from a certain part of the, of the country, then it means that the presidential candidate will come from the other part of the, of the, of the, of the country in order to, 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 to build the cohesiveness, All right. the, 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 the integration, All you right. know, in order not to leave any zone. Okay. Uh, uh, not to leave any zone out. But I hear you. you I hear you, Dr. Lloyd. You know, for balance, let's also hear from Mr. Shikoya about the way forward. How do you think the PDP can become a stronger opposition in Nigeria? You have about 30 seconds, please. Mr. Shikoya, if you can hear me, I'm asking about the way forward, building a stronger and more uh, viral PDP. Mr. Chidi Lloyd was asking for an apology. I am sure when he said 300 or shikoyas, he does not count that as an insult. But I, I leave him to him, to, to himself. But let me say this, that if PDP wants to be a strong opposition in Nigeria, if we want to add to the development of this nation as a strong opposition, the first thing we must do as a party is to purge ourselves of individuals or groups that are not in the same page with us. And I say you cannot be in a government of opposition and say you are in the party of an opposition. It is not done anywhere. You cannot be in APC government. It is obvious where your, your pain comes from. So that is why a man like that and his <laughs> people, if they want to go, let them go. If we are only few and we are giving a constructive to citizens, we yes. will see that the nation and the, the way country you have will be changed, on the their way. Own. And that is the why I think that, that, right. that, that is, that's why I think people like this, uh, you, you see, you see yeah, but that's why I think we must not have a formidable opposition. All right, and Mr. Shikoya. And it's a good way to end the conversation. So as we end the conversation, let me 
apologize to you both, but I'm really sure that we had a great conversation. Uh, you both are brothers in politics, and I'm sure that you'll meet outside of here and be able to even exchange ideas. Also, let's inform our viewers that the views expressed by our guests are theirs and have no connection whatsoever with TVC News. Former Chairman, Emo Hualuku Government, Chidi Lloyd, and uh, former PDP State Organizing Secretary in Lagos, Liki Oshikoya. Thank you, gentlemen, for being a part of the program. Thank you, my dear sister. For well, that, our program today, a repeat, will be available at midnight and at 6 a.m. I am Abosedi Adeni Radoemi. <laughs>